Located just off Campbell Lane, Simply Ramen's newly opened location is a great place to eat some wonderfully yummy ramen. With a sleek, modern interior that features hints of East Asian decor, the restaurant now has a bar and a new emphasis on appetizers. Both of those features are rooted in Japanese tradition. In Japan, usually after a long work day, they just get off work and have a little uh, appetizer and uh, have, a, have a little drink. At the bar, you can order all kinds of beers and even liquors, but their specialty is serving sake. Sake is a Japanese rice wine and it has a unique taste. It's a little, um, little sweet when you taste them. Uh, when, if the, the hotter it is, the sweeter it's going to bring out. As long as you make it really hot, it's really tasty. As Rob mentioned, that sake is typically served warm, and you can get that sake served to you in a fun and exciting way known as a sake bomb, where they drop a serving of sake into a beer. Well, I've got to say, the sake bomb is a little bit intense for me, so I'm going to stick to just trying the sake. and. Interestingly, look, the bottle is still a little bit warm. I'm gonna pour it out myself the traditional way and then just shoot it back. Wow, that's definitely stronger than most wine you get around here, but an interesting flavor, definitely tastes good. Now let's talk about some of their mouth-watering food starting with the appetizers. One of their new appetizers is the chicken karagi. It's a dark meat chicken dish that is freshly fried and bursting with flavor. And of course, they have a ton of fresh and flavorful ramen dishes. And the heart of all those dishes is the house-made ramen. Using their own special recipe, they whip out fresh noodles that put instant ramen to shame. Their number one ramen dish is the shoyu ramen. A pork broth and other sauces are added to the just cooked noodles. Then comes all the other fun ingredients including pork, a soft-boiled egg, and scallions. Another awesome ramen dish is the veggie tantanmen. The noodles are covered in a special broth and toppings like tofu, bok choy, and more are mixed in. So here is that vegetable tantanmen. It smells absolutely delicious. I am ready to dive into this big bowl. Now a lot of people visiting here at Simply Ramen up for the chopsticks. I am not so good with these, so I am gonna use the spoon and I'm gonna pick up a ton of the gravy, some of that tofu, and all of the vegetables that are mixed into it. So many flavors bursting together. The tofu is nice and firm, and as always, you can taste just how fresh those noodles are. A wonderful dish here at Simply Ramen. Also new to Simply Ramen's menu is their delicious mochi, a rice-based dessert that comes in various flavors. Thanks for watching this week's Let's Make a Meal.